Good morning, Lana Scott Lighthouse. This is a message for the general collective, and this is for the after the solstice message. Okay, um, this is um, just a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody, and um, we've got some uh, runes here, and we also have some tarot cards. I'm trying out a different spread for you guys. Um, so you can be anywhere in the rune reading, which is dealing with the present time. You can be anywhere moving into the future between now and the rest of the year with the cards that I have laying out on the table here. And at the end, I'm going to pull an oracle card from the Work Your Light Oracle for any extra information from spirit, um, any messages from your um, angels, ancestors, spirit guides that I've called in. And... It may or may not resonate. It may just resonate for a few of you. It may resonate, you know, anywhere along the line. Okay. So first of all, I pulled the runes just to do a general to see um, where, um, what kind of energies are going on in the present. So the first thing we have here is we have Jera. Jera is talking about um, rewards for efforts, some kind of, um, um, some kind of something coming to you. Um, after some kind of work, some kind of a harvest. So the solar eclipse may have brought in some new enlightening, some new spiritual awakening for you. Um, maybe you're getting more psychic dreams. Maybe you're opening up to the universe more. Maybe you're hearing your guides more. Maybe you're seeing things you've never seen before and being able to understand what the universe is telling you. Okay. And then we have Algus, which is talking about being open. Um, I'm also seeing Algus as Everybody standing in awe of the solar eclipse, especially those of you that got to see it in the totality. Um, they're also showing me a picture of people standing around feeling the extra strong energies because they're, they were in a place where there was there was totality. But they're saying not to worry because no matter where you were, um, that where you were anywhere in the, within the energy of the eclipse, you all of humanity is going to pick up some kind of message from it um and all of you on different levels because all of you are in the middle of or are somewhere you know everyone's on their own spe separate journey so what you take away from the solar eclipse depends on you know how much of it how receptive you were what you where you're at on your journey um what you were um maybe even looking for maybe some of you went at if you're more pagan minded or more open to spirituality, maybe some of you went out in the eclipse with the open mind of whatever gifts you bring me, whatever energies, you know, you want to infuse my spiritual awakening or my abilities with or anything else that you were open and receptive. You maybe even got a special little different gift either saying. So um, take that how it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody. And then we've got flow. So some of you are going to find that that your gifts have sharpened. Um, maybe a new gift has come in. You might find, find that you are having scalp tingles. You might feel your heart space open more, your solar plexus, any of your chakras opening up more. Um, guys, I've been talking about a while for about the higher self merging more with the conscious mind, seeing more of past lives. Some of you might be seeing um, little snippets of past lives that are playing out again in this lifetime, they're saying. Take that how it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everybody, okay? But a lot of people are getting signs of synchronicities, maybe even more so now, especially if you stay grounded, if you keep your, um, maybe some of you might want to consider making a um, intention, okay, they're saying, okay, and pay attention to your gifts, Um uh, maybe some new partnerships are coming in. Um, you might even notice more of communion between you and spirit um, with with more enlightened um, with um, that solar eclipse energy they're saying has probably has has I'm trying to say how they said it has really sparked off a lot of people hearing their angels more clear. The energies are heightened. Some of you may make um um, decisions presently on um, a new path for yourself. You might um, find that it's easier to let go of the people, places, things that have been causing any kind of grief or anything like that, because you will now have a stronger sense of, of where you're going, less ego driven, but more of spirituality driven, they're saying, okay, that is more on your pa path of destiny. They're saying some of you will also see this because um, dog is, is also to me an hourglass when you flip it the other way. So they're saying some of you may be setting time limits on some relationships or something that 
you're wanting to see how it works out for you, but you're using more of your discernment. Okay. You may find that you have less patience to deal with people that are, don't have your best interest at heart. Like frenemies may suddenly become just non-existent. Um, they're talking more about, um, letting, letting less negativity and less things around you that used to bother you, maybe don't bother you as much anymore. They're saying, they're also saying some of you may kick to the curb, um, jobs. Some of you may decide you're now going to move to a place that you feel you're more open to the energies there. Some of you may more so realize your earth healing abilities. Um, some of you might have a psychic dream about a place or a person um, that a while later you run into somebody with that energy of that person. Um, they're saying all kinds of new heightened em um, emotions and combined um the higher self being combined with the conscious mind, just being more receptive, your third eye being more open and on your path of destiny, you've just come into a lot more spiritual attainment. Okay. Some of you may be opening up and finding that, um, like there's a sort of truth coming in that you might not, um, with the, the third eye being open your and, and your more gifts that you have, um, refining, retweaking, redoing, um, just refining, getting rid of the extravaneous and keeping the more focused on your path. Some of you might start find that you are reading more spirituality books. You might find that you are opening up to different thoughts, getting rid of limited beliefs, they're saying, um, just opening up to a lot of more clarity at the present time. Okay. They're saying this is also going to birth a lot of stuff for some of you. Um, and with Hagel is right beneath it as they're saying some of you after a trying time might be um, stepping into new doorways or even completing beginnings of wanting to do something that you know is heart based. They're saying, OK, which is going to um, make you even more so of a spiritual warrior. OK, kicking the past of the curve, self-protection after such a trying time. A lot of you are going to feel lighter more um, in touch with either your masculine or feminine side, bringing more balance to that, they're saying, for the present time. Okay, so a lot of opening up and a lot of things coming out that um, people weren't, you know, where maybe there were some energies you were trying to say, well, I, what am I feeling? And you couldn't put a name to it. Now you can put a name to it. Okay, you're going to, some things, signs and synchronicities are going to make more sense to you. Okay, so then I asked, and I pulled the other runes, I asked, well, what what don't you see coming or how can you deal with it? Take it how it resonates. I'm going to give you the message and either it's going to be along the lines of what you can do about it or what you don't see coming. OK, it's going to depend on the person. So this is that haggle is talking about having been a trying time. And um, it's they're telling me that some of you may have been feeling a lot of frustration about something in your life that now. Um, you're going to go into self-protection mode and decide that you're no longer going to either deal with the situation, a person, a place, or a thing, okay? And you come to this realization and didn't real and when it happens, it's going to be like a surprise to you, okay? And you're going to say, okay, well, this is not in my best interest, so it is time for me to do this for myself, okay? You may find that you need less time around certain people. You may need more time to yourself, okay? And it's going to bring a lot of more flow, all right? Um, some of you might meet a new teacher, a new guide, um, because Laguse is a feminine room. They're saying some of you might find a teacher, a mystic, a seer, or you might become a mystic, a seer, tarot card reader, um, somehow using your gifts to create more flow in your life. Maybe your um, friend world or even some of you might even kick jobs to the curb and get a job that's more than your liking that allows you more movement, more creation of your own ideas. You might even find your creativity opening up in a huge, huge way. OK. And again, then we have Ing, which is again, is um, is this portal. Um, <clears throat> And this is actually what it looks like on, on a regular room, guys. And this is the um, the diamond in the middle. So some of you, after making this, um, making this, making some kind of a move for your best interest, okay, you then go from microchism to macrochism of where in some way, maybe the group people around you change, you make some sort of change that has to do with being less limited beliefs, more open-mindedness, more, um, um, 
more joy coming into your life, making some kind of a change on some kind of a level. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, bottom of the runes, we have algas again, which again is talking about being more open to spirituality, listening to, and we've got that in the cards too, going into the future. So some of you might have some kind of a realization that you just say, you know, I'm very grateful universe. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. And you just come to yourself in some way and you make some changes. Okay. So take that how it resonates. All right. So that's for the present time. That's the energies that we're in right now um, after the, um, and I guess, well, well, guys, I guess this is a 666 message. Um, I'm not sure what 666 is, but we have some sub messages here. This was a sub message, and so was this. So take it how it resonates. It may be a 666 message. I haven't never gotten a 666 message that I know of. I may have to go look that one up, okay? So then... Um, I, I I pulled a sand from Santero, if any of you are familiar with her. I mixed together my um, uh, Native Spirit deck and my Enchanted Map deck to see where we're going, where you're going, where we're between from April till the end of the year. So this is a message for April through May, uh, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December for the next eight months. Okay. And I did that when I shuffled the cards. I shuffled that timing in there. Okay. So take this how it resonates. Again, it's not going to resonate for everybody. You may see some of this, part of this, or none of this on your journey. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like this is for a select number of people because, you know, different, everyone's on their own path. Right. So first of all, the negative spirit deck, you may feel like at this time after seeing the solar eclipse and, and having all this opening up, you may decide to do some kind of an offering to the universe. Um, you may decide to go outside and give a, give a libation. Maybe you want to um, offer up something um, where you say, I'm grateful, and you go out and you, uh, you, you know, plant some seeds. Um, you fertilize the ground in your yard. You give a milk libation, a wine libation. Uh, maybe you even say a prayer to the universe or peace for everybody. Or you give some kind of an offering, okay, that encompasses a lot. Maybe you go out and you do a little, um, because, you know, Stonehenge itself, they've got Stonehenge on here, the sun coming through, and a rainbow at the top. And the rainbow to me is is part of that that sign that I keep seeing with the with the 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 aura and the light in the middle. So this to me also may be you giving thanks because you you got a new gift that has come in, or you're seeing something in a more clear way, and you give thanks. Okay. At the same time, we have transformation and wide open, and this butterfly butterflies represent transformation. Okay. And you see how she's got her arms back. And again, that's like, um, that's almost like an inverted, um, algas, but this is saying I'm, I'm, I'm open to the universe. I'm, um, maybe even talking to your angels, ancestors, spirit guides saying, and I'm also seeing this as the light, um, coming forth after the eclipse was done and people being going, wow, oh, this is so awesome. And while you were standing there or absorbing some of those energies, you might have, got some kind of clarity on something because you were wide open and in awe while you were watching this major thing go on or it could even be suddenly realizing because you did this offering maybe some more other clarity came in that you said oh wow and you realized something you didn't realize before okay um they're telling me somebody may have thought they saw an angel so some of you um now you've seen some something or maybe you, you felt your, one of your angels really close to you um, during this mo moment of um, after the solar eclipse and you didn't really realize it till after the eclipse, they're saying. So, and, um, or maybe someone got a message from a passed on loved one, they're saying, which also brought in some clarity about something. That's for somebody. I don't know who that's for. Okay. So then we've got the Spirit of Fire card. And they're telling me that on the Spirit of Fire card, this was where some kind of a spark happened within you. Um, while, while, um, afterwards, after absorbing all these energies and going uh, somewhere along this path of seeing or feeling like something new came about and it maybe sparked off some new ideas lit a fire literally underneath your feet and you decided you wanted to do something and maybe you went somewhere or you're deciding to go somewhere in the near future. Maybe you're taking a retreat or something like that. Okay. And then we've got unexpected visitors. So maybe you go somewhere and you um, have something 
you meet somebody that sparks off something because they're showing all this light coming in through this door. Like maybe she goes on a retreat and when she's there, she even meets up with one of her favorite. Maybe you go somewhere and you meet somebody that you've always admired that, you know, through social media, they're saying some of you might also start getting more, um, feeling like your guides are really close to you. And you weren't expecting it. Take that how that resonates, guys. And then we have tribal spirit dancer. So, again, this is talking about um, on, on, a, on a maybe you meet up with some friends or something at some time in the future. And there you find more like minded people and on this retreat or you start getting more messages at the same time they're saying something about the light of the when the sun came back out again they're saying something about the light some of you may have noticed more people being affected um or maybe you were somewhere where when you witnessed the solar eclipse you noticed something about some other people they're saying and it comes back at a later date you remember it I don't know. Um, take that how it resonates, guys. And then we have Grandmother Earth. Now, not too long ago, I did a reading and I got Grandmother Earth as some, something through your maternal line. So some of you may start getting some messages from um, or remembering some things from when you were little about your, your mother, your grandmother. Um, you might find out some information about... Um, your maternal line. Okay. Again, take that how it resonates guys. Um, at any rate, then we have the ride the wave card and the, and this card's talking to me about, um, some new prosperity coming in. Um, maybe, um, some kind of a windfall that comes in because you got a message on the astral level, maybe from this maternal, um, something about this maternal line. Okay. Take it how it resonates guys. But they're saying that joy, prosperity, and happiness coming in that prompts you to do some kind of movement. Okay. Um, and you physically decide to actually move somewhere again. Um, maybe even go to another country. Maybe you look up something online about your family history that prompts you to make a trip overseas, they're saying. But anyway, they say if you do that, because you know, this, this is, um, Stan always says this is the hitchhiker card, but I see this as your journey having more twists in it that you didn't expect, okay? But you now have the wisdom that you've learned from the past. Some kind of light bulb goes off. Okay, after maybe even after this movement right here, <clears throat> and you suddenly realize something else, and you they're saying put something from the solar eclipse comes up at a later date, and you kind of have like this aha moment, and you gain new wisdom from it. You also receive balance because um, they're pointing out they're pointing out the um, the yin and yang here. They're also saying somebody might get married. Somebody might get married here, too. They're showing a new balance between male and female. Some of you, um, uh, this may be for a Libra, somebody that now finds new balance going into the future from some kind of wisdom that, that they learn on their journey, okay? Some of you <clears throat> on your journey may find that going inside because next we have the solitude card, and they're saying maybe, again, some of you start doing some meditation and a light bulb goes off that helps... Um, helps open you up even more to something that happened during the, the solar eclipse are saying that then brings about a huge metamorphosis brings about some um, maybe again some psychic dreams coming true that push you more against your path and it's something that you did not know that you had because we have the bone collector next and these two cards are making me feel like some kind of new gift that was just on the precipice of came through during the solar eclipse that you didn't realize it Okay, and this bone, this bone um, collector, it feels like she was holding it in safety for you. Maybe it's this maternal grandmother and you do some kind of a, um, a realization during this journey going to the future with this newfound wisdom that you suddenly realize this new your halo. They're saying your halo starts to shine. <laughs> okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Um, your 
you put together something, something's something from and it's something through your grandmother's line or saying or through your mother's line um some of you some kind of something that you've been that your higher self has been holding for you or <clears throat> something in your psyche has been held but you have this metamorphosis and you suddenly know what it is okay then we have spirit keeper of the west they're saying new new um a new awareness about yourself comes into being and it opens up all these emotions and all these things that you've been holding back or that this bone keeper energy has been keeping for you. And then all of a sudden, it is totally wide open. Okay. And that's that is again is embodied to me by this rainbow at the top on the next card, which is the magic stream. And this again, I always feel like this is a spirit guide or um, uh, one of your angels or ancestors is just waiting for this moment to happen. Okay. And. All of this new stuff comes in, and it promotes a lot of new growth, okay? Um, let me see what we other um, planets we've got here. Um, I see. I still keep seeing, hearing solar eclipse, solar eclipse. Hang on, guys. Let me see if any of these other cards have, because um, sometimes they'll give me little things during, um, sometimes they tell me they're in threes. So, see, April, May, June, July, August, September. October, November, December. So eight months. So I don't know. Anyway, um, I was just trying to see if they had if there was any more of the card. If they were trying to tell me, give me any more of a timing on this because I just did a um, between now and the end of the year. But they're saying during one of the um, the new moons, this may happen for one of you. Okay, so take that how it resonates. And again, then we've got the we've got spirit of air. And spirit of air to me is talking about um, having some um, more intellectual stuff come in. Also, more some kind of uh, maybe psychic dreams coming in on the astral level. Okay. Um, because the next card we have after that is the sacred uh, sacred pool, and it feels like something finally comes to your conscious mind that happened during the solar eclipse that brings a lot of more psychism a lot of more opening up and you consider it sacred okay see how she's floating in this pool here um they're just saying they're showing me a lot of this watery energy um they're showing me this here I, i've gotten this before of like this watery wave so more psychic gifts opening up and maybe you um <clears throat> With this new energy of whatever this is after the solar eclipse, you decide, you figure out that this is more, well, this is there. Okay, they're saying, okay, well, they're trying to give me two messages. I got two of them speaking to me at one time. So, but they're talking about this light coming in and you figuring out that this is sacred and you being more expanded and now maybe now even seeing um, the, the, evidence of your higher mind with your conscious mind being stronger in some aspect some of you might even start seeing or feeling even stronger the energy of your angels and your ancestors um, speaking to you okay and you figure and you maybe you come from a regular background of a of um, whatever religious background you come from and I'm hearing somebody say they never told us about this. So some kind of energy coming in that, and guys, this looks like a big heart right here. Maybe your heart chakra opens up. Can you see what I'm talking about? Okay. That opens up your heart chakra and you say, wow, this is really sacred. They never told me about this. I'm hearing somebody say. And this is an 11 card. So it may be something to do with your angels, but it's something that you can, you, you, you feel is very, very sacred. So this may be just for one of you. Okay. That now leads you to make some kind of a choice. The old versus the new. This is telling me about, this is talking to me about the, um, the crown, the, um, the crown shot, the throw chakra and the crown chakra. Um, and to me, it feels like it's, um, opening up of your crown chakra and a lot of more understanding coming in and pulling you away out of an old belief system they're saying take that how it resonates guys that you didn't ever see before 
that for you brings in with this field of dreams card coming next brings in a lot of new color a lot of new life see how this is kind of blah around here with these new doors and you somehow walk through some kind of a new door maybe an astral door on the astral plane during your dreams or something one of your angels or ancestors brings to you that you never realized before and opens up a whole new world of color in in some sort of way um maybe even you are somebody that hasn't had a lot of awakenings you're a newer spirit newer soul maybe and all of a sudden this sums up and you jump, jump several timelines with a lot of new insight that you did not expect and you it feels like you ponder on it for a while and they're saying something about <sighs> Anyway, it feels like it births some kind of new something in you. Okay, guys, take that how it resonates. Um, we've got this mothy energy here with the girl, the moth girl here. And then we've got the, the fairy here that's got the wings like the winged girl underneath the moon card. And then we've got a regular fairy here with all this iridescent light around her and this um, Pink, which to me, pink and red tend to be a to do with the heart chakra. Guys, take that how it resonates. Um, but they're just showing me this huge opening up going into this, um, and you know, this this uh crown chakra opening up. So I'm not sure how to that must be a message for somebody, okay? So take that how it resonates, all right? So that's within the next um, in the next eight months. Okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to pull these cards up here and put them up there. I hope this made sense to somebody, okay, because it feels like these, these are, um, it almost feels like this is a message for more than one person, and they're kind of, um, some of you going through something at one time, like shapeshifter energy, okay? Um, let me pull an oracle card. What else, what other message would you like to give to the collective? So, on the split, we've got transformation and boundaries. And at the um, bottom of the deck, where are you being called? Where are you being called to journey to? So, I just want to show you all that. So, they're saying still this, there's transformation going on down to a DNA cellular level. And people's, again, that integrated transformational energy. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. So a lot of you may be going through some kind of a deep healing, okay, which they say is going to go through until, um, well, they've got, I always see her staff as Pluto, which is to me, you know, we've got Pluto's in Aquarius until August or September when it goes back into Capricorn. So maybe this is going to happen between now and the end of August, okay? Then they're giving me the boundaries card, and the boundaries card is where do you need to establish better boundaries? So with that solitude card that we come at, came out with, some of you may feel like, um, again, kicking people, places, um, things to the curb. Um, some of you may feel pulled in more directions than what you want to go. And again, I'm seeing this expansion of beyond the seven chakras. Um, they say there's your, you know, all the way up to your seventh chakra, and then there's five chakras above it, right? There's eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So this feels like they're talking about maybe your higher becoming more in tune to your higher chakras. Take it how it resonates, guys. It's not maybe some of you that are just starting on a spiritual journey, jump a couple of the jump a couple of timelines, or in some way make having made that 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 choice card, it it bumps up your spiritual awakening. Things come into sharper focus. They're saying, okay, and then we have where you be called to journey to, and guys, this card always makes me think of the primordial waters, um, something coming in through with your ancestors that maybe even past lives coming up in those little, little, um, 
you're getting little clips and guys I'm going to tell you, um, I've had a couple of them. Daniel's had a couple of them. So I know we're not the only two. And I, I've heard other people talking about it. I feel like, I feel like this card is talking about a journey to um, seeing some of your past lives, maybe on the astral level. Okay. And it feels like they're talking about stone hinges here. Some of you may discover you have um, Irish ancestry in you. Um, this one feels like almost like the Taj Mahal Indian. Some of um some of you may find out that you have some family in some other lands, or you may feel like you go through on the, an astral level and you start seeing some of these other places. Take that how it resonates, guys. They're saying also for some of you, you're going to find new beginnings by going out and meeting some people or talking or finding out different things about um, the past lives about yourself. I always suggest getting your DNA done through uh, Ancestry.com. I am hoping next payday. Guys, I'm hoping I can do my own. Um, maybe I'll share that. Maybe I won't. Um, but they're suggesting that if you find, if you do, do, do have your DNA done, that when you find out about different things in your family or in your bloodline that you didn't know you had, it's going to open up a lot of new doors. That's a promotional new start and going through that, go, that in card, going through um, uh, another, another beginning, another, a new, another new way, bringing more flow and, and going through your uh, more spiritual awakening and uh, opening up those upper chakras. Guys, take that how it resonates. Okay. So that's what I've got for you today. Guys, I thought this was a very interesting reading. They were giving me some messages there as I was going along. I hope this resonated for some of you. Um, and this is for the collective. Guys, be a light in the darkness. Okay. Lighthouse. 